Oh, Dr. Jones, I can feel, uh, looks, feels like the arms, left arm is moving a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the heart rate's up to 132. The blood pressure is up to 167. Um, I think I'm always coughing a little bit as well. Okay, I'm going to go up on the sebo fluorine a little bit. And I'm going to give a bit of propofol here. It's okay, Laird. I'm just going to get you right back off to sleep here. Okay, open that IV up wide. Okay, it should be just give him a minute here, and uh, hopefully that will settle itself down. Okay. All right. So it looks like our heart rate's coming back down. Slowly, 122. Just recycling the blood pressure. Looks like we've got one twitch here. Okay. Heart rate's back to 110. And blood pressure is almost there. She appears to be still. 130 on 90. Okay, great. You can go ahead. Keep all going there. All right, I'll keep. I'll uh, go ahead with the procedure. So, our weight's down a little bit. I'm um, just cycling another pressure now. Yeah, it's hurt down a bit. Oh, it's, yeah, it's pressure's 87 on 67. Are you guys losing a lot of blood down there? We're, we are, yeah, there is some bleeding. Um, okay, I'm just gonna open up the IV um, to wide to full, full on here. I'll give that a couple of minutes and I'll back off on the sebofluorine from where I was before. Great, I'll, I'll wait till things stabilize. Yeah, and if his blood pressure doesn't come up in the next couple of minutes, I'll probably give him some phenylephrine, okay? Okay. Just keep me in the loop there with how that, that bleeding is going. a bit. I'm just cycling the pressure again to see where we're at. IV's had about uh, 200 mils of normal saline in the last uh, couple of minutes. We'll just see where we're sitting with the blood pressure. Sorry for the delay. He'll be, we should be good. Oh, there we are. 125 and 98. Okay, you can resume there. Okay. So we're going to close in about 10 minutes. Okay. That's perfect. 